In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can deal with this situation, which comes up when you try to activate Aconda environment. When you install an Aconda for the first time and you create an environment and install tools in that environment, and you try to activate that environment, you have this error message appearing. Your shell has not been properly configured to use Aconda Activate. And you also have this statement here. Okay, so I have two ways that I used to deal with this problem. So I will show you how to also deal with them. So let's start with the first one. The first approach is to change this one here, this name here, into source. And then you can add the other stuffs. So let me show you how that is done. Let's start. Let's clear the screen. Let's simulate it again. So let me just uh, list my environment, conda env, just to see the environment I have first. So I have my mapping environment. I am recreating the problem again. So conda activates mapping. Okay, so I have this problem. Now let's look at the first approach to deal with it. So I'll do it again. And then I'll activate it. So if I'm going to activate, instead of saying conda activates mapping, I'll change this word here to source. So I'll say source activates mapping. So let's run this command. So if I do that, I'll have the environment activated for me. I have some tools installed in the environment so I can run them. I have some tools, for example, so I'll say some tools. So it has been executed. So I have activated the environment. So now, if I deactivate that environment, let's say Conda deactivate. And then I want to activate again. I can now use Conda activate mapping. And the environment will be activated for me. Okay, so this is one approach to do that. Now let's look at the second approach. So let's request the problem. So we say Conda activates bioinformatics. So what we need to do is to specify a shell. Okay, so this is the approach we are going to use. We are going to use this command here, and we also need to specify a shell because that is what Panda will use. So I am using a Linux system, so I will specify bash. So what I'll do is to say Panda in it, and then I indicate the shell I want to use, which is bash. So I'll run this command. So once I do it and it's successful, I'll have this statement here, which tells me to close and reopen my current shell. So let's open a new shell. Okay, we have opened a new shell. So this is what I have. Notice this name here, base. This is the base environment. So normally, if you are using an Aconda, you will be switching between environments. So what we have here, every time we open a new shell, we are going to have this base environment shown here. So I normally recommend that because you'll be switching between environments, you change this behavior so that you yourself activate the environment that you want instead of always coming to deactivate this base before activating the environment. So let's change the behavior. So we will say under config set auto activate base and we say false. So now we have changed this behavior. So we need to open a new shell. So let's do that. Let's open a new shell.
Okay, we have opened a new shell. So you will notice that the base environment has not been activated. So now we can activate our environment. So I will say Conda activates bioinformatics. Now it has been done. We can deactivate. So I'll say Conda deactivates. Okay, so with a second approach, whenever you restart your PC, you don't need to use the source activate command. You can just move straight to the conda command and then use conda activate to activate your environments. I repeat. So with the second approach, whenever you restart your PC, you don't need to use the source activate command. You can just move straight to use the conda activate command and then activate your environment so these are the two approaches that you can use to deal with that issue so and that's about it if you also want to learn more about anaconda if you want to learn how to use anaconda to install data science tools and bioinformatics tools then i will encourage you to watch the videos in this playlist